Hi everyone, today what we're looking at is the Haltech engine management system. Uh, this is a collaboration between me and AlphaSpeed in Puerto Rico. Uh, we are going to show you guys basically how to properly use and set up the uh, Haltech on your 2.0T Genesis Coupe. Now there are going to be differences between some stuff for the 2013s and the 2010s because the 2013s aren't technically supported, uh, but we're going to just go over the basics today and uh, continue on in other videos moving forward. So when you open up, after you've installed, I should say, after you've installed your uh, Haltech software into your computer or laptop, preferably because uh, unless you can park very close to your desktop, uh, you're going to have uh, this open up and you're going to want to go to their website to get the latest version don't install the version off of the CD unless you absolutely have to, as well as make sure you get, grab the latest firmware update that is also on their website. So starting out, uh, you're going to notice this icon up here in the top left corner, and you're going to open, find Hyundai, BK Theta, and then there's three versions that I have on here, uh, and we're always going to work with the latest version. Uh, unless your particular Haltech ECM doesn't have the firmware, but again, I recommend you go onto the website and do that. So it's going to start loading stuff up, and things are going to start populating on the screen. Now uh, today, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, we're just going to focus on getting the ECU connected to the car and some basic stuff going from there. Um, so across the top you've got file, edit, view, selection, start, uh, sorry, setup, tools, and help. Um, you've also got main setup here which we'll cover in a second. Um, we're going to go over to the options and this is going to give you your units table. Now if you are, uh, if you happen to be American or more familiar with um, uh, the Imperial system what I'm going to recommend is that you change all of these to the format that you're most likely to be comfortable with. Uh, liters versus gallons. Uh, one thing to note is that Haltech is an Australian company and the Genesis Coupe is a uh, Korean car, both of which use the metric system and both of which speak natively in the metric system and everything else is just uh, uh, an equation format in order to generate a number for you. So I always prefer to stick into um, the, me uh, the metric system. However, I do make one slight change, which is I switch to PSI slash inches of mercury, and uh, I maintain everything else metric. The reason I switch to this is because um, unless you happen to speak bar uh, or a format of it which is called KPA or I guess those two are actually interchangeable but uh, I natively speak PSI so I'm just going to change that. There's also different things, display themes that you can download off their website, um, shading and different stuff like that as well as COM port communications but you don't need to worry about that because the Haltech for the BK uh, speaks through USB not through serial. So we're just going to accept that and then we're going to go to this main setup right here, this little gear cog. This is going to open up. And then you're going to get this first table. This is very critical. Okay, um, It's going to give you your model, your tuning method, your load source, your ignition source, your primary map sensor, your engine capacity, cranking RPM, VIN, and a bunch of other stuff that we'll go over. Uh, first off, you need to um, choose one of these. Now, if you have an American car and you do not have push button start, then you're going to go with key start because that is a non immobilizer. Okay, if you have an immobilizer, whether you have key start or not, because uh, Canadians we have uh, an immobilizer but we also have key start, we need to still select push button start. So that actually should be immobilizer versus non immobilizer and I will bring that up with Haltech at some point. Tuning method, VE, injection time, or lambda, lambda correction. 
Um, I'm going to tell you guys to leave it at VE unless your specific tuner uh, tells you to change it. Um, just stick with that. Um, we do not have a math and TPS I don't trust uh, but stick those two, leave them at map and you're going to leave it as manifold pressure sensor 1. Um, otherwise unless you have a uh, CAN module which we'll go over in a little bit, you will be able to choose that. Now for engine capacity, Haltech reads it at uh, 2000 cc. I always change that to what it really is unless you have a stroker or you have your cylinders board which is 1998 cc. It doesn't make that much of a difference but uh, in one test vehicle it caused uh, a little bit higher idle than, than desired. Now if you have push button start you need to put in your VIN, which we're not going to cover here uh, because you guys will have all know where your VIN is, but we're going to change that to a 1 just to show that it changes. And then injectors, enabled versus disabled. We use injectors, we don't have a secondary module for it. Um, so this is kind of if you're using the Haltech for one function and you're using something else like a pro EFI system to actually control fueling. Um, 3 to uh, 14 ohm or 1 to 3 ohm. This is for aftermarket injectors. This changes the coil resistance in the injector itself and what the uh, ECU is going to be looking for. So for us we leave it at 3 to 14 unless your aftermarket injector say something else. Uh, we have a constant fuel pressure type unless you have it changed. Actually we don't have a computer controlled so don't worry about that. Base fuel pressure. Now this is where it got, gets kind of hinky for some people. Uh, KPA. Okay, so what you need to know is if you're looking for a unit converter, KPA is kilo pascal. Uh, and this number is actually wrong. If you have a 2010 and you don't have an aftermarket fuel pressure regulator or something like that, you're just on the stock fuel system, pump doesn't count because pump doesn't matter. Uh, it's not actually 310, and I don't know why Haltech did that, but it is actually 379, which is the equivalent of 55 psi. We have a direct fire, don't have a CDI, and we're not going to lock the timing, and the rest of this stuff, oh, here we go. I'm going to change that to 8,000 RPM, just because our gauge does not go faster than that. And then you're going to come down here to the bottom, it's going to say apply, click apply, always click apply. So that's uh, the basics of starting it. Now at this point you should be able to plug the Haltech into the car. Actually at this point you're, um, yeah, you should be able to plug the Haltech into the car. Plug your computer into the Haltech and actually we will go apply, click, we will go file, save as, and Hyundai, BK Theta, custom one. We're going to click save. And you should be able to at this point upload the uh, um, file into the Haltech. Now you're going to have connect and disconnect. You're going to need to click that once the Haltech is connected to the USB port. And that's going to allow you to flash the file over that you just saved. And at this point, you should be able to start the car. So that's, con that's uh, finishing up the uh, main settings. And then in the next video, we will go into the more advanced settings and cover those things as we get ready uh, to hand the car over to a professional tuner. And I just want to take a quick minute to thank everybody for watching this video as well as to thank our partner in this video series, uh, Alpha Speed. Check them out on Facebook and in YouTube for Health Tech and 2013 Plus Genesis Coupe Tuning, not to mention a bunch of other uh, Hyundai vehicles. So we will see you guys in the next video.